Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss one of the hottest topics in AI that is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. I have previously posted a series of videos about this topic in which I have explained in a detailed manner what RAG is, how RAG works and along with some code implementations. I will provide the link in the description. You can check it out the whole playlist about the RAG. So what's new about today's video? We are going to build a RAG agent in a no-code AI tool which was becoming so popular nowadays. Yes, that is N810. N810 is a powerful workflow automation AI tool which can be used by non-techies who have zero coding knowledge. So before jumping into the creation of workflow in N810, I will give you a brief overview of what RAG is, how RAG works and then we can start creating workflow in N810. So without wasting the time, let's get started. Wait, 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 wait. If you are watching this video for the first time or visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon beside that to get notified every time when I post a new video. So let's get started. So what exactly is RAG? Let's break it down. Traditional large language models like chat GPT are really incredible. But they have a few limitations. The first limitation is knowledge cutoff. Their knowledge is limited to the data on which the model is trained. Suppose if you ask a question related to the latest trends or question related to your private documents, the model cannot answer. The second limitation is hallucination. If you ask a question on which the model is not trained, it will give you a wrong answer in a very confident way. That means ChatGPT is hallucinating. To solve the both issues, RAG is introducing. RAG is a technique which combines the power of an LLM with external up-to-date knowledge base. So simply RAG means a retrieval augmented generation. Let's say you have a knowledge base that contains PDF, docs and company required documents. Suppose when a user asks a question, the retriever will retrieve relevant documents from the knowledge base and the uh, augmenter, it will Refine the user question, that means combines the user question with the retrieved documents. Suppose three relevant documents were retrieved from the knowledge base, the user question will be combined with those three relevant documents. Then the final generation. This new question will go to the LLM and LLM based on the relevant data retrieved will generate a accurate and non-hallucinatory answer. So this is what RAG is. And coming to the flow, we are going to implement in the N810. First, we will be implementing the data storing and indexing part. Next, going to the generation part. So suppose this is the knowledge base. First, this knowledge base is chunked, means we have a very large knowledge base which contain many documents, many PDFs, so on. So the model cannot handle all the documents at a time. So what we need to do is we need to divide this large knowledge base into chunks, smaller size documents. So then it is converted into vectors and these vectors are stored in a database called vector database. So vector databases are specialized databases which are used to store text in vector formats which is highly needed for RAG systems. So when user asks a question, user question will also convert it into vectors and between the vectors present in the vector database and the user vectors, a similarity search will happen and from the database, vectors having 
are vectors which are more similar to the usual question are proved similar and given to the LLM to give the final answer. So this is the flow we are going to implement in the knowledge base. This is the data ingestion and storing part and this is the generation part. So let's start building the NA10 flow. This is our RAG agent workflow we are going to implement today. The first part is the data ingestion and indexing part. The second is the RAG agent. In the first part, we will be taking the file input and converting it into vectors and storing it in the database. And second, in the RAG agent, when the user messages, the AI agent will retrieve the relevant documents from the vector database and refine the question and send it to the LLM. The LLM will craft the final answer. So let's create this workflow step by step. So first open an A10 website. If you are a new user, click on get started and create your account. Once you created an account, an A10 will provide you a 14 days free trial to create automations and workflows. Next click on sign in. Next click create workflows. So once the canvas is opened, add first step. So first we will be creating our data ingestion pipeline. For that, we will be using on form submission node. Rename the form as input file. And I will be giving form title as knowledge base creation. Give a form description. Next, click on add form element. So, I will be giving it as file input again. Next, we will be inputting files. It should accept multiple files. If you want to specify what kind of files you need to input, Specify it as dot pdf or dot dvocx, and I am marking it as required field. That's it. Next, our input file node is ready. Next, we will be adding our vector database. For this project, I will be using Pinephone vector database. In that, select add documents to vector store. If you don't have a Pinephone account, create new credential. So for that. Search for pine bone. Click on if you don't have an account, click on sign up. I already have an account, so it has logged me in. Create an account with your email ID and next click on create index. Give it a name. I will be giving it as Rag agent. And next select Lama text template V2 model. And capacity mode is serverless, cloud provider AWS. And I am using region US East 1. Click on create index. Yeah, here you can see our RAG agent index is now activated. So next go to the API keys and create an API key. I will be giving RAG agent. Copy the key and paste it here. Click on save. Once the connection is tested, you can close the window and here you can see uh, my new Pinecon account is added. So operation mode is insert documents and we will be selecting our index rag agent. So batch size is 200, leave it as usual and close the window. Next we need to add 
two things. One is the in default data loader. I will tell you what it is. Keep the first as JSON and load all input data. Text splitting is simple. Text splitting every thousand characters with 200 character overlap. Like I said before, our knowledge base will contain very large information. We need to break it into chunks and add it to the vector database. So this default data loader will take care of this large documents. It will divide it into thousand character chunks with a 200 characters overlap. Next, we need to add a embedder. For this purpose, I will be using Kohri embeddings. So if you don't have a Kohri account, search for Kohri. Click on the first link and click sign. So I have already created an account. If you are a new user, create an account with your email and click on API keys. And next click on new trial key. Then a new ABA key will be generated. Copy the key and paste it here. And click save. Once the connection is successful, you will get a message as you see for the pine cone. Once the successful message came, close the window. And here I will be selecting 1024 dimensions. Once it is set, close this pop-up. So now our data ingestion part is completed. Next, we need to add a chart figure. So click on the plus icon. Search for chart figure. Next for this, we will be using our AI agent node. Yeah. Click on add options and system prompt. And here I will be adding a prompt, your a helpful assistant and answer the user questions based on the data retrieved from the Pinecone vector database. Now we need to configure our chart model and the tool we need to use. Keep on the chart model and we will be using Grok chart model for this purpose. So if you have a Grok account, open it. If not, create new credential and go to Google and search for Grok API keys. I will provide the link of all these websites in the description. You can check it out directly. So. Once you open the Grok console, log in with your account. Once the login is successful, click on create API key and give it a name. I will be giving drag agent and once submit it. Copy the key and come to the Anaitan window, paste it and save it. Once the successful message came, close the pop-up. I will be not using this API key once this video is completed. So don't worry. So once you configured your Brock account, select the model you want to use. You can use any model from here. I will be using Nama 3.37 TB versatile. Next, close the pop up. Next, we need to configure the pine bone. So, this is where we are extracting the relevant documents from the pine bone account. So, giving it to the exception. Retrieving the relevant documents from the pine bone. Database. Next, we will be using the same RAG agent. Okay. Just click it. So, our pine cone vector node is activated. Next, we need to add an embedding. 
because I have said before, user message is converted into vectors and those vectors are compared with the vectors present in the vector database. So for that purpose, we'll be using the same node we have used it there. 1024 query account. That's so our rag agent is also ready. One thing you need to configure. You should see here our rag agent the dimension is set 1024. You need to ensure that the embeddings that are being created this will also have 1024 dimensions. If not, you will raise an error when running this workflow. That's it. Let's test our workflow. So when I executed the input file, it was asking to add the input files. So I will be adding one of the doc I, I have. Yeah, Kong has been separated successfully. You can close the window. When you open this node, you can see here the output is saved in the node. So next we can proceed to the pine home vector store node. When you execute that, the first the input file is divided into smaller chunks and then embeddings were created by this node and stored in the vector database we have connected. Next, we shall send a message to the chart model. So that doc contains the information about the integration of Power BI and chartboard. So I am asking what are the different Power BI and So our message has been given successfully. Next, we need to run this AI agent node. So once the node is run, yeah, you can see based on the search results, there are several methods to connect to Power BI using REST API. So this all information was retrieved from the document which I have uploaded. Let's say I am asking what are the latest AI events. See, these are giving the latest trends present in the doc itself. It is not going or retrieving the latest trends from the internet. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel for more such content. If you have any doubts, comment in the comment section. I will be replying to each and every comment within an hour. And I will be providing all my social media links in the description. Feel free to connect with me and clear your doubts.